Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shalom, family. How y'all doing today? We're coming at you with another tutorial today. It's your boy, Delapo Inc. And we're going to be working on compression today. So we got a vocal from my boy, Timmy. We're working on a song called Tribe. Uh, we're just going to focus on the hook today. And we're going to look for the compression on there. So I'm going to break it down a little bit more just so you can understand a little bit better how to use it. So your mixes can get tip top shape. Bye. So let's go. One time for the cultural side, two times for the Legos vibes, three times for the Yoruba side, that's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe, and you know we had to get live, turning up, come join, let's ride, making moves all the way to five, that's my tribe, that's my tribe. Let me pull up the compressor. Ooh, all right, so big thing. If you have FL Studio and you're using uh outside VSTs that's not native to FL Studio, so what you want to do is click the gear button. Once you go to this little gear, click this one, hit processing, hit external window, make bridge, take back the plug and your plugins look so much bigger. Man, when I tell you I found this out, I was so happy. I was smiling all day because now I ain't got to hurt my eyes. and I ain't got to like sit there and try to squint to see everything and get headaches while I'm mixing. Like this is perfect. So I digress. <laughs> my fault. So let's check out how we use this compressor. So you see how I have all my settings on here. I have the threshold to about like negative 40. Ratio about uh 2.2 to 1. Uh, we have the release to about uh, 0.4 millisecond, 4 seconds. And we have the attack around like 6 milliseconds. So I'm going to break down to you like everything starting with the threshold. Uh, so I'm just going to exaggerate it a lot of times and just so you guys can hear how the things work. So with threshold, I'll explain it first. Just imagine you have a certain ceiling that you're trying to get to. That's basically what the threshold is. That should be kind of self-explanatory. Like It just lets you know. So listening to it, I'm going to set it at zero and then I'm going to play the vocal and then I'm going to turn it all the way down just so you hear like pretty much what's going on. One time for the cultural side, two times for the Legos vibes, three times for the Yoruba side. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my tribe, that's my tribe. One time for the cultural side, two times for the Legos vibes, three times. So you remember, I was just saying that it's gonna squash it. It pretty much squashes it all the way down. Like the more of the threshold you have, the more you lower it down the lower the volume is going to get. And so like I told you guys before in the other video, I usually have my my ratio at usually 2 to 1 to 3 to 1, somewhere in between that. Usually I used to usually keep it there because it makes the vocal sound more natural. You're not taking away too much for it. And so the best way I like to explain the ratio is just imagine so say we have the threshold right here. We're gonna use the threshold kinda of as your door, or we'll say a club door. You have two people with you. So you have two people with you, and once you get to the door, it says for two, every two people that you bring, only one of you again let in. That's pretty much how the ratio part works. For every two dB that's going above the threshold, it's only gonna allow one go to go. The other one is getting thrown out. Same thing if you increase the ratio to about 4.1. Say if you go to that club, you bring four people with you. It's, it's you and like three other friends, so it's four of y'all. They say for every four people that you bring, only one of you will be allowed to go into the club. So it's just, it just goes like that. So that's another way of just balancing out the vocals without any type of trouble. But like I said, you don't want to do it too much or too high, at least not for vocals, because then it won't sound natural. So that's usually why I keep it to two to one or three to one. Usually in between that, it's still kind of natural. It's not pumping or doing anything else. And so let's see if we can hear how it sounds with the ratio at two, and then we're going to increase it a little bit more. 
One time for the cultural side, two times for the Lagos vibes, three times for the Yoruba side. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my tribe, that's my tribe. One time for the cultural side, two time for the Lagos vibes, three time for the Yoruba side. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. Nigeria. So if you can hear it, you hear how once the ratio started getting increased, a lot of the peaks started getting like real squashed, but now you're starting to lose dynamics. And that's definitely not what you want. And that's what I meant when I was saying that it sounds less natural because usually you have voice inflections and that's what makes the vocals and the artists sound more exciting once they have the dynamics in there. But if you squash it like that, it doesn't sound good. So usually I keep it to... Like I said, two to one to three to one. And so next, so we'll focus on the attacks. Uh, with this, you don't want the attacks, like I told you before, to be too fast and you don't want it to be too slow. So on here, you're kind of working on the transients, which is the start of the initial signal. So say if you, like from all the peaks and everything that comes in, if you have a super fast attack, it won't let any of those peaks go through. It's catching everything, every single thing. Like it's quick. And if you make it slow, then it's not going to really catch it. It's just going to kind of let everything go through and let it go past. You know, you trying to get, run away from like a security guard and he's real big. You know, he's slow. You're going to get past him. So it's all works in that context. And so we'll listen to it on here. You'll see that the faster the attack is, the duller the vocal starts to sound. Once again, it starts to lose some of its natural dynamics. And that's the thing that we want to keep because the voice inflections, the energy, this is what you need. And if you have the attack too fast, you start to lose that. So let's listen. To it, huh? One time for the cultural side, two times for the Lagos vibes, three times for the Yoruba side. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my tribe, that's my tribe. One time for the culture. Now, as you can see, once the attack started slowing down, everything started just going through. Like you, it started getting a lot less compressed and it just started expanding to the natural signal. And so you don't want to do that because there's no point in you throwing a compressor on it. But you want it to be somewhat, like I said, from 6 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds, how I usually do for vocals. And just depending on taste and how you like to do it and what you hear matching the sound of the music. All right, so with the release, the final part, uh, what we usually do on here is that it dictates the speed of the compressor. So if you have a fast release time, you kind of uh, you might run into some pumping issues, but if you have it real slow, then the compressor is taking a long time to gain back to its original state, which means that your vocals are going to be over compressed, and you really don't want that. Plus, you start both of them give you an unnatural sound because when it's too fast, you get the pumping. Uh, I'll think of it usually as you know the revolving doors in uh in hotels. So if you go through it. If you're trying to go through it and it's going super slow, anybody and everything can go through it. You have no issues. You know, the kids like to play around into it. But when it's going too fast, you're kind of like jumping, trying to see if you can get through instead of just naturally being able to get through and be compressed. So I'll show you the examples on here. Uh, one time for the cultural side, two times for the Lagos vibes. Gotta see if I can over exaggerate it. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. So right now you can see the needle is going kind of slow. One time for the cultural side. Two time for the Lagos And everything sounds balanced, but everything is really compressed. We don't want it that low. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my track. Now, as That's the speed starts to Nigeria get faster, on the way, something great and I start to hear his vocals come up 
up front. One time for the cultural side, two times for the Lagos vibes, three times for the Yoruba side. That's my tribe, yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my tribe. I was going that's too fast. Tribe. He's not really getting any compression going on. Two time for the Lagos vibes. Three time for the Yoruba side. That's my tribe. Yeah, that's my tribe. And you know we had to get live. Turning up, come join, let's ride. Making moves all the way to five. That's my tribe. So usually it's always better to have like a semi-fast to medium release time when you do it. But it's all taste. It's all personal preference. It's really just right now just teaching you how to use it so once you get into actually doing vocals and instruments and stuff you have a better idea and you can match to your taste but that's the final piece of the compression that i have for you guys uh if you like the video let me know if you didn't like it and you thought i did a trash job <laughs> explaining it also let me know i'm trying to get better at teaching you guys this stuff for actually talking about it uh, trying to display some of the knowledge that I know to help you guys out as well as you guys be able to help me out and I'm trying to get better at this as well oh and don't forget to let me know about anything that you guys want me to talk about next uh, I'm kind of running out of ideas even though I really haven't done too many videos but I want to get it to where I'm helping you guys instead of just putting out just things or different stuff just let me know the type of things that y'all are having issues with or stuff that y'all need help with or just things that you're looking for thank you subscribe if you like the video if you know anybody else that's having trouble with uh mixing or is trying to learn uh send them the links let them know about me or just let them know about the video so they can educate themselves and we can get this thing going also if you need mixes recordings or anything like that if you need beats uh, you can hit up my email. It's D O L A P O I N C at gmail.com. I believe the link in the description below. Uh, he hasn't released this song yet. So once we get everything set up, I'll have it in another playlist where I have a lot of songs, whether I engineered or produced in. So you'll be able to hear the song later. And I'll definitely let you guys know about it. Because this one sounds like it's going to be a real good one. But yeah, say it one more time. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.